Today, let's take a look at two great undocumented features of the Open EVSC time limit and charge limit. We won't see those in the menu <clears throat> until we plug the car in. Now that our EV is plugged in, we press and hold this button and we see time limit. So what does that do? Well, if we press and hold again, we can set a time limit for how long the car is gonna charge. In this case, I chose one hour. You hear the relay cycle in and out as it goes between its modes. And after some considerable delay on the part of my 2013 Nissan Leaf, it'll eventually start drawing current. And that took about 60 seconds. I know you guys don't want to watch that, so we skipped right over that. So what would you do this for? Well, let's say you lived in California or somewhere else where they charge terribly high rates for electricity um, during uh, peak and you were close to bumping up against the peak time, you could charge your vehicle and stop it before you run into those terribly high peak prices. There's also another way to deliver a limited amount of power. That's with the charge limit. By pressing and holding, tapping, and then uh, going through the menu, <clears throat> you can see uh, several different uh, selections for us. So I can say, you know what? I'll just go ahead and deliver uh, two kilowatt hours. And we can see the very cool lightning bolt symbol next to it. And again, after some delay, we'll see that the uh, Nissan Leaf starts charging and it will shut down after those two kilowatt hours are delivered. And again, after a short delay, you can see that the vehicle is drawing current. Now my Leaf is almost full, so it's drawing very little. Normally it draws about 27 and a half amps at 240 volts because I have the charge package, which gives you a 6.6 .6 kilowatt onboard charger. That's right, the cars are rated in watts and the EVSCs are rated in amps. The reasoning behind the charge limit is to give you more flexibility and options. Say you had a Tesla wall pack or other limited power supply, you can simply limit how much gets delivered into your vehicle. The final option is delay timer, which is available in the normal menu button. You can set a start time and a stop time and choose whether to have it activated or not. This stays on all the time. When you say yes, that's on. Now we have two things. It will only charge between the window as well as only deliver a certain amount of power. So a lot of power and flexibility with the open EVSC. Now I'm going to pull the plug and this is going to clear out the charge limit and time limit. And as you can see, the delay timer uh, stays current. We still have our clock symbol and I'm connected so it's going to toggle in and out when I keep doing this. On the back screen, the sleeping screen, it shows that this will start 5 after midnight and stop at 5 before 7 a.m. and this is our current military time. Now if you need to just come home, plug in and charge, you can do so. Press that button, toggle to the main screen, and it will allow you to convenience charge so that you don't have to go into the menu, select to turn off the delay timer, then exit, and have to turn it all on all over again the next day uh, if you're a regular delay timer user. And again, it's a, about a 60 second delay with my car and it is charging once again. So those are the three ways you can limit the amount of power or the times that the car will actually charge. Thanks for watching.